because of all that heavy rainfall. Yeah, we're going to talk about that right now. Alex Lee County was under a flash flood warning early this morning after some spots got nearly four and a half inches of rain. That's too much too soon. Houses flooded, roads were underwater, and a driver rescued from the hood of her car. Meteorologist Morgan Kochmeyer caught up with residents in Lee County. Morgan. Sean and Kristen, earlier this morning, the street I'm standing on now looked a lot more like a river, flowing water rushing into residents' basements and yards. Some people tell me they've never seen it this bad before. A couple people that weren't even awake, we ended up, I woke the neighbor guy up and told him we were flooded, and he was, he was kind of like, wow because he's never seen it this, this high in, since he's lived here. Water flooding basements and up the steps. All you could really see was the house. There was no ground or... And belongings washed over in their yards. It was just kind of like a river flowing through here. It was insane. It looked like a river going all the way down the street here. Neighbors on high ground woke up to see what was happening. The water was all the way up around the, these two houses over here. Came across by that red shed there and all through that yard. Washed the neighbor's driveway out down here. A similar scene on North Court Street. She was sitting on top of her vehicle uh, and water had gotten inside. She wasn't able to move the car. And when the officers arrived, uh, they found her sitting on her vehicle. Uh, they were able to get her off the vehicle and then call for a tow truck. And after a busy overnight shift. Calls started um, coming in rather rapidly and I know they didn't have a full shift last night, so they did start calling people in. Dixon Police Department has some advice for the next time flash flooding occurs. It's always best to stop, turn around, um, if you could turn around in a driveway or if you have to do a U-turn and just find an alternate route. Sometimes we won't have barricades up in time, depending on how fast things happen. Well, as Alex Kirchner said, showers and thunderstorms still in the forecast over these next couple of days. For now, residents of Dixon will continue to clean up after this morning's mess. Reporting in Dixon for 13 News, Morgan Kochmeyer, back to you. And hopefully they stay dry. Thank you, Morgan. Rockford's downtown is filled.